Welcome back to Marketing Champions on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Mike White, and on Marketing Champions, we're meeting with the experts in the industry talking about the tips, tricks, trends, and the technologies they utilize to build and create successful campaigns. Join us today from Code Conspirators, we have Rob Riggs. Rob, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me, Mike. So Rob, there's tons of companies out there that are digital media companies. What makes you guys unique? What's the unique selling proposition of Code Conspirators? Uh, yeah, good, good question. Uh, so we, uh, so first of all, we everything we do is metric driven. So before we start working with a client, we assess where they are, and we look at their digital presence uh, from seven different perspectives. And so it's uh, it's you know user experience. You know how does what does the, the digital presence look like uh, to search you know online search visibility uh, like how how visible, how out there, uh, how are they ranked, um, to accessibility and legal, you know, how, how well are they relating to their public and, uh, conversion optimization. So how, how well are they, uh, are their digital presence converting from a, uh, lead who's never heard of the, uh, the, the company, uh, to prospects, to somebody who they're nurturing and then all the way through to the close. And then how do they deliver good service after, uh, so number one is, you know, kind of metric driven. Uh, number two, I'd say is just our process. We've got an you know, incredible team and, uh, that follow a fairly regimented process that, uh, del- you know, delivers consistent results. So I'm, I'm excited to be, uh, uh, to, to lead this team. So the biggest thing that a customer comes to you guys to solve, what is the pain point that they are looking to overcome when they come and engage with you? Generally, people come to us because they're looking to increase revenue. But as uh, you're, you're well aware, uh, just boosting revenue is, uh, is not always the answer because uh, so we're working with a current, uh, a current client that uh, grew, we grew their inbound leads from, you know, you know one number to you know, 4x within a you know, six, eight month period. Uh, but then, you know, every problem you solve creates a new problem. So now the problem is how do they deliver consistent results in a way that's not going to tarnish their reputation in, in their area? And uh, so now we're helping them uh, reach out and uh, build uh, staffing relationships. Uh, you know, how do they, uh, without hiring uh, new team members, you know, increasing overhead, how do they deliver the results that are going to best, uh, you know, satisfy their market? And so we're uh, helping them with uh, scheduling, uh, you know, their existing technicians, their existing team that are mobile, you know, uh, mobile on the road force. Um, uh, you know, how do we align people to, uh, to their location that is going to be most expedient for the customer? Uh, how do we automate you know, testimonials and reviews so that the positive experiences their uh, customers receive are uh, leveraged to increase, uh, you know, future business? So would we look at all the way through the, the marketing sales funnel, all the way through the delivery cycle as well. So does uh, co-conspirators uh, build the plane and then take off, or do you uh, take off and uh, build it as you fly? <laughs> um, we uh, we we start with a plan in mind, but uh, you know I, I love um, the the phrase that uh, you know you walk into a ring with a plan uh, that uh, that's great until the you know the first punch is thrown, and uh, and then you have to know how to adjust the plan. Uh, so there's not a set it and forget it uh, mode out there right now because as you know digital marketing is always changing and uh, and things are you know every day something new is coming out new standards that we have to meet or new competition uh, new media channels that we need to be looking at so uh, there's and we've got you know team members that are watching for that kind of stuff where our clients don't have to you know, don't have to spend time on that. They're spending time doing what they do uh, and let us do what we do best. So you had mentioned uh, as you continue to adapt and supply services for customers, you're researching DSPs um, to be able to offer that as part of your solution. What pain point are you trying to solve by bringing the programmatic buying in-house? 
For me, we're uh, we're just looking to get uh, really specific around who somebody's best client is. Uh, you know, we we can bring a ton of new clients, but if they're tire kickers or if they're uh, people who are uh, you know more budget conscious than our clients are, uh, you know, interested in serving uh, or able to serve, then um, you know that's not really uh, what we're looking at. So, you know, digital now, you know, a hundred years ago, you just blanket marketed and hoped and prayed that you know six eight months later, you've got uh, you know margin. Uh, that the campaign was successful. But now with digital, you've got immediate results where you can turn things off, you can uh, you know, reposition, you can pivot marketing efforts uh, to that which is having the most return. And that's what I love about display and uh, the, the ability to uniquely target uh, really specifically around uh, somebody's, you know, our client's target customer, and then uh, helping them reach out to only then. It uh, limits the ad spend uh, that, uh, you know, we're not, we're not spending ad revenue on uh, customers that are not going to be profitable for our client. What's neat is, uh, and we have one of our partner sponsors at Simplify, and it's neat in all the research in terms of they have unstructured data, and there's a lot of DSPs that Basically, they all go get data and they sell segments, but having the unstructured enables the granularity, enables you to really pinpoint who they are by a zip plus four down to the plat. Um, so the amount of data people have um, on psychographics, geographics, allows an advertiser to really pinpoint who they want and serve the message to them that they want to be served. So. Love it. But, Absolutely. Uh, so, so powerful. So if you um, finish the sentence for me, in two years, code conspirators will blank. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Uh, explode. Uh, so <laughs> we're uh, we're looking to you know uh, strategically grow. Um, the things that we're doing now are uh, we're setting in motion to help our clients even more so uh, to automate uh, the uh, the process between the uh, so the lead the conversion uh, the nurture um, and all the way through that process uh, we're looking to automate as much as possible so that our team and our clients' teams uh, don't have to, if they get the you know, best ROI, they're not having to spend a ton of time uh, managing lead inflow that uh, their focus is doing what they do best. Well, Rob, I appreciate your insights uh, today and your time. So thank you for being a marketing champion and being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mike. To find out more about Code Conspirators and how they could help you target and engage the right customer for your business and help grow your bottom line, visit us at dailyadbrief.com. We'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.